What a great shirt. Now oh, the Rangers got a hit. Oh, it's because I'm sneakers so tall. I didn't take my sneakers off, so. Yeah, sorry. I finished up some popcorn. Thank you, Rob. Rob Burt. How was the trip besides the baseball? Hey, look, I had a great weekend. Austin's working on some stuff. Opening day vlog should really be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Obviously, a rough weekend of baseball, but uh, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. <coughs> it was... uh. Great to get out and see everyone. Uh, great energy from the fans. America's great. Um, well, it's just one big party, really. I mean, it's 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 uh, you know bar scene, restaurant scene. It was really cool to see Detroit so lively. Um, it was fun. Uh, we're coming up on what three weeks now? I think. Scoreboard's good in person. Um, everything ship shape, as they say. Um, seemed like they were having some issues with it in game one. I'm Snickers O2. Uh, are my parents mad I got fired? Um... Internally, I think they're a bit upset, uh, but they've been very supportive. Um, no, it's it. That's more of a recent thing. Luke was that the scoreboard is kind of getting dated. Uh, I didn't know him uh, on a personal level. Um, but it was horribly sad to see that that happened. Um, and, you know, I wish I, and I'd heard great things about him. And, and also the whole, like, I hate to dispute it, but the whole like fired versus not fired. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing things through to the end of my contract. It's just, I no longer work there. <laughs> um, So I think for on a te if we're going on a technical legal level, I don't think it's a um a termination. I could be wrong about that. Um, when do I think I'll go back to Comerica this year? Good question. Um, you know, again, I don't know what's going to happen over the next month or so in terms of my financial situation. Shit, I I want to go down for either the Astros series or I'm definitely going down for the Blue Jays series, which will be late May. Um, I just don't know if I will be down for the uh, Astros series as well, which I think is two weeks earlier.
Yeah, I mean, of course I am. Um, you know, I, it's... <laughs> I'm surprised, but I'm not shocked, you know. I knew that the weakness of this team would be off, on offensive depth. You know, I, I really think hitting is so hard, man. And I think so much of hitting is about what's between the hitter's ears um, and the mental game. Whereas I, I think um, uh, with pitching, especially with bullpen guys, there's ways to kind of mask those flaws. So I don't, I mean, how many consecutive pitching hitting coaches have we had and still had terrible offenses? You know, I, I really think in this particular case, it falls on the players. Like I, Chris Fetter does a wonderful job as a pitching coach, but we've also finally given him some pitchers that like are pros and are good. Um, so, yeah. Okay. I've read a lot of shit about me in, in my career, especially last few months. I have no fucking clue where this narrative that I got head from a, a trans woman came from. Um, the biggest problem that I've developed, and I got to be better at just handling this, but if you have a disagreement with my takes or an opinion that I have, that's fine. That's discourse. You know, I would prefer people be respectful about it, but they're not always going to be. I get that. My number one caveat is don't make stuff up about me. Um, And that's really the big problem I've run into lately. And I, and I got to stop entertaining it and I got to stop responding to it. But it's just my concern is that somebody who may at one point at some point want to employ me or somebody who may want to be associated with me reads that a gullible person reads that shit and they, you know, uh, and they fall for it. Um, and, and I, when I was working my other job, I get it more so because you're in that sphere. You're in the, you know, you're in the Thunderdome, right? But I'm not, I've moved on. I know that they've moved on as a company. Just leave me the fuck alone. Let me go on my, with my life, please. It worked worked for Barstool. Uh, you know what, Jeff? I am excited for that. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see that. Um, you know, last night I had five guys and it blew my fucking balls off. Um, oh, of course, Kevin, no problem. I, I, this weekend, I got, we got a lot of pictures this weekend. So I, I, I had no, no issue at all. It was great. Um, when do we start holding Meadows accountable? You know, look, we're not, guys, I, I, I know people don't want to hear this because we are victims of the moment. I'm as guilty of that as anybody. We are. Less than 1%, just a little bit over a half of a percentage of the way into the baseball season. So when I say I've been disappointed with this person or happy with this person, you got to condense it into a nine-game sample size. But of the be of this first nine games, my biggest disappointments have been Torque and Parker Meadows. Uh, Meadows, because I thought he had such a good spring, and he's one of those players who, if he blossoms, can be a huge contributor for this team because he is a very good defender. When he gets on base, he can do things on the base paths. My second is Torque because I just felt like it was, for some reason, every fucking year that Torkelson has been in this organization, I'm talking going back to spring training, he never gets off to a good start. He sucks in spring training. He sucks in April. You know, I, I just... I, um. 
that's annoying to me. Those are my two d- disappointments so far. Uh, the pitchers, it's, you know, you, I know uh, Flaherty got lit up today, and I know uh, Maeda had his struggles. Like, I, I get that. Um, but I, I still kind of believe in those guys. And for the most part, the pitching is held very strong these first nine games. But um, they didn't make a lot of moves in the offseason because their belief is that this young core is what's going to provide the offense in 2024. And that means Meadows and Green and Torkelson and Carpenter taking the next step. Now, I have my faith in um, – I have my faith in in Green. Uh, he's going to be inconsistent. But here, look, and, and I brought up, talked to it about it today, and I can't believe I'm bringing this up nine games into the year. Um, I've adjusted my feelings towards Riley Green a little bit, to be honest. Um, I don't see a star. I see a really solid player, uh, a nice three, four war per season player, um, a, a – potentially Hall of really good player. Um, I I think with the injuries he had over the last few years, as well as this issue of him not lifting the fucking ball, um, I don't know if he'll ever live up to his ceiling. Um, But I think he's going to be a solid hitter who's going to be in the major league. He'll he'll have a solid 15-year career at the big league level. Um, it, hopefully it's with the Tigers, maybe bounce around from team to team, but he, he belongs here. He's going to stay here. Um, I view Torkelson's 2023 as a massive step forward. I think we all did 30 plus home runs. Um, did he drive in a hundred or was it 90? I think he drove in, uh, 90 plus. Um, and you know, that's all great. Um, if he repeats that this year, I'm, it's a failure. Um, you know, I, I, Y'all think I'm being a big fat meanie head. You don't understand the hype that Spencer Torkelson came in with. Like, I didn't know. I heard people who said to me, his floor, his floor was Paul Canerco. Paul Canerco was a wonderful player. Not a Hall of Famer, but he's got a fucking statue with guaranteed rate. He won, you know, like if, if Torkelson had Paul Canerco's career, I'd be pretty happy. Like people were saying that was his floor. I heard comparisons to Goldschmidt, to Alonzo, to Freddie Freeman. Uh, so people who who get mad at me uh, when I get upset with him, I hold certain players to different standards. Okay, there's a reason why I'm not fucking, uh, you know, going off on Zach Short last year, or or why I'm not, you know, uh, going to overly criticize Gio or Shell. Like these guys who they they battled their way to get to the big leagues, they bounced to, from team to team. You know, they're grinders. You know, I'm going to respect the grinders. You know, I, I think people that um, – uh, I, I think in general people that uh, I, we have expectations for, we're going to hold to a higher standard. So, yeah, that's where my frustration comes in. Um, nah, man, fucking Mize and uh, Foley were there too. Week five. I know he should have won at week two against Notre Dame. Uh, pathetic, Patrick. Pathetic. Surprised by the Red Sox start. I'm surprised by the way their pitching staff has started, but that's not going to last. Um, it will not last. You know, at this point in the season, Johnny, I think worries. It's too early to worry. Frustration, I think, is a better word. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, he's already in AAA. I don't, I don't know what their plan is with him. Um, hopefully later, late this season. Yeah. Uh, a lot of highlights, a lot of highlights, a lot of box score reading. Um, you know, I can't be everywhere all at once. Will I be rooting for Flux moving forward? It depends on who they add. Um, you know, with with a dozen, it's it's that's not going to change. I'm going to root for the people on the team, like the teams that feature the people I like. Um, you know, I still think the twin. I mean, Bieber blowing his elbow out is a huge, 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 huge loss. Um, I am 28 years of age. I will be 29 in two months and two days. So roughly about 62 days. You know, to be honest, oh god, people are gonna hate this and think the whole "woe, oh, woe is me" again. He's looking for sympathy. I don't think I've had a birthday party for me since probably eleven. It's probably the last time I did something. Um, as an adult, I, I usually just stay home. I don't really do much. Uh. I think last year I was in uh, I was in Chicago for the dozen uh, over my birthday. That was fine. <laughs> you know, I mean, I really uh, the last several weeks or months really have forced me to, to reevaluate a lot of things. And, you know, I, I've never, for some reason, I, the woe is me thing gets under my skin when people accuse me of that. I, I don't, cause I don't like people like that. I'm, I don't like when, you know, people fish for compliments or, or just want people to feel sorry for them. I, I in general, when I give my thoughts like that, it's not, that's not my intention. My intention is self-analysis and I have a certain image of myself that is very negative. And I think people take that as me trying to fish for compliments. Um, Um, and that's going to be sporadic, but I think we're going to have one this week, Steven. Um, yeah, so I'll send that to Austin maybe as early as tomorrow. I mean, I feel like I'm working the kid a lot, but. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's whatever. Look, I, I've been on the internet long enough to know that no matter what, um, some people's opinions are always going to be made up and that's fine. Um, it's like, and I, I don't want to go down this road tonight, but like when I wrote my initial blog of when I was getting help and it was very open and just 
you know, very devastating regarding my opinions of myself. Like I just wrote that just to more so to get it off my chest. Um, you know, the response was obviously very positive and meant a lot, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, um, you know, I, I don't like that that's part of my image. And I think that it definitely hurt my, uh, standing at Barstool among other things, but whatever. No, not at all, man. He's, I mean, he's coming up with new ideas all the time. Well, I've, I've just laid it out for him that I've, I've said, you put as much work into this as you want to put into this. I, I'm not, you know, if there's a moment where you feel like you need to back off from something or like take more days, please. Like, I don't want to push them into anything. Um, do I rewatch the games after I see them in person? Not necessarily. I'll watch highlights. Um, it is tough though. It, it is tough because I, I, I'm moving around the park a lot. I probably get a better, uh, view of the game, better eye on the game when I'm, uh, when I'm watching them on TV. Um, do I give him like a set fee? No, I pay. I always pay for his tickets, pay for dinners. I'll pay for hotels. Um, but in terms of just, you know, I can't provide him with the stuff that I would love for him to be provided with, which is, you know, stuff like benefits and, and, and shit like that. Look, man, I, I, and nobody wants to hear this right now. I, I just don't believe they're going to be this bad. I got to believe, like, that's what's annoying to me is, is the off looking at the offense coming into the year. Did I think, oh, this is an overwhelming offense. They're, they're going to be great. No, but I know some of these guys are just at least a little better than how they're performing. Like it's like Jake and Anya Banez and, and, and like, and I'm not saying they're studs, but they're capable of good at bats. And they haven't really had many. Um, yeah, you know, that's a good point, Vincent. And, and I, I have a long release with rookies. His at bats are improving quite a bit. Um, he's gotten definitely better, uh, in that department. Uh, I, I think he's had a lot of loud outs. Uh, I, I feel, I feel like he'll trend in the right direction. Um, yes and no. I mean, I like being around the ballpark. Um, but I, I also, I like, I don't sleep well outside of my home. Um, I like being in the basement to sleep there. It's less noise. Um, so there's advantages and disadvantages. We did today. Yeah. But you know, when it's Oakland, like I'm not going to. Sorry, I'm not going to empathize with you. Mm. 
No, I didn't make it home, but I was following along with it. Um, too bad for uh, for Caitlin Clark, but uh, great season for South Carolina and great season for Iowa. I mean, we'll see what happens next because I think this was a these last two years are pretty revolutionary, right? I think that the opinion, the mindset about women's basketball, especially at least in college, has changed. How do they keep up this momentum now? Uh, I went to Nikki's with Austin. The pizza there was great. Last night I was pretty exhausted. I just had five guys, uh, DoorDash. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I didn't really get around much. I, I walked a ton. Like, so my legs were like, I walked. Let me check the thing. I think I walked in total seven miles, just, um, uh, on the opening day. It's possible, but I do think that there will be repeat viewings. You know, I don't see it completely dying. Yeah, I mean, I would like to be close to the action for sure. Um, you know, I it's tough, man. I I don't know what the future holds right now, and I so I I'm open to all options. I, I look, an opportunity opens up, an opportunity opens up. I'm not going to say no to something that works. I, I just think, man, it would be a missed opportunity in some capacity if I wasn't able to be at every Tigers home game um, or at least have the opportunity to go to every Tigers home game. Um, but again, I don't know what's going to come a call. And so. Oh, very slim. Very slim. I, I do, Nate. Yeah. Um, I, I don't disagree with that. Ah, uh, Illich. Can't you know the darkness I inherited and that now I am no longer funny. I miss the way you laugh. Once called me forever, now you still can't call me back. And I, um, this week, oh, uh, we have an interview coming up. Uh, we got some fun stuff coming, yeah. Twenty thirteen, I thought was a great year. Um. Yeah, no, I think I think he's going to bring over multiple guys from Florida Atlantic, um, which would immediately be an upgrade, you know, compared to what we had. Um, uh, he's he's working hard here, Dusty. Man, I give him a lot of credit. 
Uh, no, I've never paid a ghost Pokemon. Probably not, no. Uh, I'm not going to be on here much longer. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Kind of tired, kind of exhausted. Uh, yeah, I mean, he kind of flaked on me, so I don't uh, I don't know when that's going to be. That's, that's on hold right now. Nah, it's a pipe dream. I mean, you know what I, I you know I'd want it, but I think Jay Hen's a legitimate possibility. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to think. I think he'd be close, right? Uh, right now, I think the Vikings. I think that would be the best situation for him. I think to go to a place where you have the best receiver in football would be, I think JJ could thrive. I hope he goes to... The Giants, because I don't want to have to face JJ, actually both JJs, JJ and Justin Jefferson uh, twice a year. question uh right now i'd say joe but it's so early with clark clark all right y'all just wanted to check in with my beautiful people um be back at it probably tomorrow got to get uh, you know let's, let's bounce back against pittsburgh we need to in a big way so looking forward to that i will talk to y'all real soon love you